please subscribe to my channel and this is my channel name dr javed ikbal kokhar lectures on hello assalam alaikum and very good morning from lahore pakistan i am dr javed ikbal kokhar professor of forensic medicine and toxicology as i am discussing autopsy and this is the second lecture of this topic and the learning objective of this lecture will be that i will be discussing in this lecture the virtual autopsy and the contents of my talk will be that what is virtual autopsy and what are various techniques which are used for virtual autopsy as we know that autopsy is complete examination of dead body both externally as well as internally after opening the cavities and collection of material for various histopathological labs biochemical labs and toxicological examination is performed whereas the regarding the types of autopsy we have discussed that they are the physical autopsy which is the medical and medico legal psychological autopsy and virtual autopsy so today i will be talking about the virtual autopsy which is also known as vertopsy and it is a post mortem examination without compromising the integrity of the body that means even without opening the body and without collection of samples and if due to some reason or disease the autopsy of the body is not possible like the body dies due to some fulminant infection like corona virus or other diseases then the help of radiological examination we can detect the cause of death this is virtual autopsy that with the help of various radiological techniques we try to find out the cause of death without opening the body in all the radiological examinations they can be performed like x ray ultrasound mri or ct scan in virtually autopsy this is such a post mortem where ct and mri are increasing nowadays in virtual autopsy the these method they are being used ct and mri most commonly they are used for a forensic autopsy surgeon this is important to know that they are not trained for the radiological techniques so they cannot understand the uh, radiological image and it is difficult for them to understand the axial anatomic orientation of axial post mortem ct image they cannot understand the ct image because they are not trained for it but now the computer assisted system that permits post mortem ct data sets and which quickly and intelligently reslice the body in the real time and this narrow the gap between the radiological imaging and autopsy and they are actually reslicing in the real time which doesn't now remain the radiological image but it appears a real time at the body so the summary of this lecture that we have learned what is virtual autopsy thank you very much take care allah hafiz